is Leo growing his hair back? Uh, I'm filming today. Um, I might have not had my hair cut yet. <laughs> but I'm filming today at some point. I don't know when. Are we behind today? Yes. I'll get it at some point. <laughs> what would you say the biggest lesson that you've learned from working on the show so far has been? The biggest lesson? Um, that that uh, that if the food's good, the crew is happy, and that's the most important thing. If the crew is happy, um, which is is genuinely true. If the crew is happy, it has such an effect on on the day of shooting and, and how the episode turns out. So that is probably the biggest lesson I've learned. Do you feel like working on the show has changed you, dealing with the subject matter you guys are dealing with? Um, certainly, in that sense, yeah, it's made me more aware of what kids in that situation go through, um, made me more aware of what doctors go through and, and how the actual uh, matter of their work is, is just insane and I didn't, I didn't really, it's not that I didn't realize but I just wasn't um, aware of, of what they had to go through and then I mean it's changed me in terms of I've grown up a lot more being out here, it's the first time I've lived away from home so uh, and I'm without my parents, so that's crazy. Um, it's certainly changing me. In a good way, though. <laughs> In a good way. How is Leo adapting to Hunter? Um, to Hunter? We don't really see eye to eye in real life as well. <laughs> I hate him. Uh, no, I don't. I actually just saw him walking past. So. He's a good guy. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think Leo, feel, to Hunter, I feel feels probably a certain... Um, Maybe, maybe jealousy because of the whole Kara thing. He seems to uh, you know, he seems to come in and immediately meet eye to eye with with Kara, and he seems to be having sparks with the Red Band group anyway, which I think Leo is uh, shocked by that someone can almost not take his place but rival him in that sort of leadership way. Um, so I think Leo's upset with that, but uh, maybe they will see eye to eye eventually. Maybe they will get to know each other. And in what ways did you prepare for this role? Um, I packed my suitcase. Um, I read a few books. I um, learned the accent. I um, got my hair cut. <laughs> that is, I mean, really, it's. Uh, you know, I could have done a whole lot more. But uh, but it's very much been a been a as you go along kind of thing and, uh, and that's kind of what I like about it um, is the fact that I'm learning something new every day at work we've got you know real nurses here to tell us how it would have gone down in a real hospital and so and that's it's always interesting because I'm learning new things all the time what can you tease about the episode you're filming today sorry what can you tease about the episode you're filming today what can I tease yes what can I tease about the episode we're shooting today um well, why don't you tell them what, yeah, tell them what it's about. If there's anything, we'll just, they'll hold it, but yeah. So the episode we're shooting today, uh, a guest comes into the hospital, um, and she's not exactly what, what the kids think she is, um, which is a bit of a surprise. And, uh, and because she's kind of crazy, it takes, it takes the, the group on a bit of a journey through the hospital. And uh, what else happens? What else happens? What do I... What do I do in this episode? Emma and Leo. Emma and Leo. Uh, it's oh oh well that's yeah. pretty that's um <laughs> there's some big decisions there. Um, just because it seems that Emma might be getting better, uh, and and so they have they have a few conversations about it, and uh, and they're you know they those conversations result in things. I doubt I can tease what they result in, but but they're. They're good. I've had some good scenes with Sierra. Sierra and I have had some good stuff, and it's you know really nice to uh, get to know Emma and get to know Sierra. So it's it's cool. Do you feel like there was a certain scene or moment in which you felt like you really got Leo, like it really clicked for you? Um, it was a scene. I think it was in la uh, episode four. 
five, where he says, I don't want, I know, I'm not a sob story, I just want to be a regular guy. I thought that was uh, an interesting sentence, uh, an interesting moment for Leo, where he, he, was, he was admitting that he, um, that he wasn't as powerful as he thought he was. And uh, I think that was a moment I realized, oh, well, that, that's big to come from him, that, you know, he's, he's always trying to be this leader and, and trying to be this guy that takes the group places and pushing it forward, and now he's admitted that he's not going to be the guy that he thought he was. He's not going to be the guy that he's been telling everyone he was. So, um, that was a moment where I, I, you know, I respected that, that he said that. It was a big, big thing for such a young person to say. What kind of tricks have you had to use to hide your leg in scenes? Um, so to hide my leg, well, there's a lot of like, Charlie, can you just push it to the right so we can block it out with that? And, and we just need to move that chair so we can block it out. There's a lot of like sitting on it, like that sometimes. Um, I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> there we go. Um, but now, because they want they want to show Leo getting stronger, so he's on his prosthetic a bit more, and that's interesting because uh, you know I, I, I put some weights on my foot so that it's harder for me to walk and uh, you know using my my body for the limb. So that's it. Kind of hurts, <laughs> but it's you know it's interesting. It's fun. Uh, helps me get in his his head a bit more. So those are my only tricks. The rest is visual effects. Their tricks. Is there a point in his recovery that will involve growing his hair back? Uh, Alex? Yeah. Is there a point where he, uh, in his recovery where his hair grows back? Um, well, I mean, I think anybody who's dealing with it, you know, will go through periods of treatment and non- and not Yeah, treatment. I mean, we, cer we certainly see that, that chemo is, he's coming out the back end of chemo and he's, he's getting He's getting fitter. We certainly see that he's getting fitter, and uh, you know, he, 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 he is. He is. I've got, I got some scenes in a uh, couple days where I'm like doing exercises and stuff, pull-ups and things, which I can't do in real life, so I don't know how to <laughs> film them. Um, but yeah, I think the hair is going to come to play uh, at some point, so that's good. It's nice. I wanted to shave it every morning. <laughs> God. Can you talk a little bit about um, what it's been like for you living in Atlanta and filming here in the South? Um, uh, a lot of sweat, um, which I'm really not used to. A lot of blue skies, which is fantastic. Um, uh, wearing sun, you know, I, I've been using my sunglasses, which I don't, you know, I, I have sunglasses in the UK, but I, I use them for that one week when I go on holiday in the summer. And, and then the rest I don't use them. So I'm actually like, I get up in the morning and I put my sunglasses on, which is, you know, great. I'm really, I'm utilizing them properly, which is nice. Um, but I, you know, Atlanta's fantastic. It's not a, at all what I thought it would be. There's great food. Um, people are friendly, which is, uh, it's not what I, you know, I guess London's quite similar to say New York in terms of that it's so quick. It's just moving so quick, and we're all shoved into such a small space, so you know, you just don't notice each other. Um, whereas in, in Atlanta, I can see the person walking down the street from over there, and you know that when they get to here, you're gonna be like, "Hey, how's it going?" And, and, you know, and they, uh, yeah, it's it's fun. It's a really nice place. I like it. How is Leo gonna be dealing with Nurse Jackson's troubles? Um, I think. Uh, whatever's happening with Nurse Jackson is happening with Leo as well. She's such a, you know, she's that maternal figure to him. So, um, if she's going through a tough time, Leo's certainly going through a tough time because she's probably not talking to him. Uh, and he needs that, that talking to keep him sane, to keep him, you know, fighting and, and, and uh, alive, really. So, so we'll see if she's going through a tough time. I'm sure Leo is as well. Why should people tune into the next couple of episodes? Um, because it would mean a great deal to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I think there's some really interesting, you know, obviously there's these love triangles and there's these things like that, but I, I do think there are some really interesting things about, um, 
life and, uh, and health and the way you, you some very internal things going on that uh, that are interesting and, and it's finally being explored in a in a um, in an interesting way and, and hopefully it's, it's interesting for viewers. So tune in. Yay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.